McNicholas High School students pulling for one of their own tonight, a 17-year-old senior in the ICU after a weekend crash. Investigators say they believe the driver who hit her was impaired. The crash happened Saturday at 6:10 in the evening on US 52 in Pierce Township. Ohio State Highway Patrol Sergeant Joshua Patrick says witnesses saw a man driving recklessly before the crash. He's cutting in and out of traffic. She's in the right lane and as he goes to the right to get around traffic, he ended up clipping the left rear end of her car, um, causing her to rotate out clockwise and down an embankment, rolling into the trees. First responders had to use mechanical tools to get Nicole Bell out of her car. She was flown to UC Medical Center with life-threatening injuries. Investigators say 40-year-old Randall Lindsay II of New Richmond suffered minor injuries and kept driving after the crash. And the driver did continue driving from the scene and ended up pulling over once his vehicle gave out on him. Bell remains in critical condition with broken bones, spinal, head, and rib injuries. Her family tells me she loves ceramics and taking pictures for the yearbook. She was a four-year varsity athlete, the captain of the bowling team, a viewer capturing this photo on campus, a small tribute to the senior. The school writing, we love Nicole and have been sending her our love and messages of support, including notes written by her classmates and friends. Most importantly, we have and will continue to lift up Nicole, her family, and her caregivers in prayer. We gathered in our school chapel on Sunday to pray and to support each other, and that prayer continued in classrooms today. We'll put the crash report together, a, a case report detailing what charges we think apply, and we will present that to the prosecutor. All right, tonight a spokeswoman for the high school said that uh, a team of counselors and also faculty do remain available for any students who need it this week. We're live at UC Medical Center tonight. Jatara McGee, WNWT News 5.